Take it from China! Welcome to the Wicked Gamer Den! Collector, welcome back to a new video. And in today's video we have something pretty damn awesome to show you. This is the Shell Ness from Mind Kids. It comes in a cute little box. And uh, this is the first cartridge or multi-game card that we don't need in Kozol for. So, I'm curious. What's inside the little box? Alright, let's do a little bit of an overview what are we going to get within this small package. It comes with an AV out cable, no HDMI output. We have in here power adapter. And it comes with two controllers. And I must say, they look great. And they feel great. Hmm, not bad at all. And of course the cartridge itself. Alright, let's take a close look at the cartridge itself. So what makes this thing so special? It's a very nice sleeve that comes with it, but it's like magic. We don't need a console because it's already inside this cartridge. So I think this is a really awesome idea. I found it on the, the Chinese websites and I just needed to pick it up and show you guys what, what are we going to get. So model number, 8-bit, it's going to run on 5 volts and let's take a close look at the bottom. The left side we are finding the AV out, reset button, two USB connections for the controls, the DC 5 volt, uh, there's a micro USB for the power, and at the right we are finding even a switch for the region. So, and also for on and off. So in the middle it's going to be an off, and left or right we can choose the PAL or NTCS. So let's take a closer look at the controllers. I really love this transparent look, I really love it. The D-pad feels very nice, very good actually for a knockoff controller. And even the button has got a very nice response. Alright, let's play some games and let's see how it's responding. Alright, let's test out the switch so we can see if the region switch is even working. Let's try out Paul. And now let's try out the 60 Hz NTCS version. Switch to the other. Yep. Yep, the reason works. Yep. Alright, very nice. Let's do a little bit checkup of the game list. Alright, let's check out what kind of games are on the system. A lot of great games. It's a small collection, but there are actually some good games on it. Alright, let's do some gameplay. And we're going to try something out. A question a lot of people are going to ask, does it save? Let's try out Zelda 1. I booted up before. And yes, what you can see, it saves. So let's do a little bit of Paul and the CS gameplay. First now we are going to check out the Paul version of Super Mario Bros. Hmm. 
I can tell you the controls are playing very nice. Very comfortable and a very nice touch to it. I'm going to try it out on Paul. I can hear the difference. Sound is like it should be! Oh yeah, Christmas dance! Don't interrupt my Christmas dance. So for the final conclusion about the shellness, I must say I'm very impressed. And I think they're going to learn it finally. And what I mean with this is that in all of the previous bootleg systems you cannot save. And yes, we can save. We're having now a region switch and we can switch from Paul to NTCS. The controllers are very nice, they play very good. So and overall it's not bad at all. No, we cannot add games, um, so you're stuck with 118 on this system or on this cartridge. So yeah, let me know what you think of this. I really love to know. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell and see you next time. Bye bye.